to stay beautiful with Althea. Um, so with this first official video, I thought I would start off with you know the word that the words that God gave me in order to actually start up this new channel again, start up this new journey that um, God has placed in my heart to really share you know his word and really talk to you know his people about different topics and um, I'm just gonna dra drive wow I'm going to dive right into it so at the beginning of the year you know we we ask God you know what is the word that you have given us and what is the word for 2023 and you know the Lord has been giving me you know like a freshness newness um, but I, I really just didn't get you know a word up until I think it was like February March and for me that's like so late to get a word because you, you're wanting to go into the new year with a new word you want to get it in January already like you know when we have our fasting periods um, at the beginning of the year but I just didn't get it and it was almost like God is preparing me for something and it was Mark 2 verse 22 which says I just have it here and no one puts new wine into old wine skins or else the wine bursts the wine skins the wine is spilled and the wine skins are ruined but new wine must be put into new wine skins uh, before that it speaks about that you do not add a new cloth onto old linen or old cloth because it will ruin it and it really spoke to me because of the fact that I can't do the same thing I mean I can't do the new thing on an old platform and it was so hard to like hide some of my YouTube videos and I kept like some of the older ones up there um, that I could always like look back to at least all day it's just not listed but it was like God was saying you know you do you need to do something new and I just felt that afresh and I was at this one gathering with um, some friends and they sang the song new wine and I was like shoot God that is confirmation if it is not and it was really so amazing like I was crying it was beautiful because this is confirmation that God is going to do something new I don't know what it is yet but I have faith and I believe that God is going to do something new and then you know going throughout this journey this past couple of months and um, I was really you know thinking and asking God okay God like now when is this new thing coming this year I can feel it in my spirit it's like a, a massive like unction like I know it's coming but like when where how and it was just one of those things where I really needed to have faith guys it was like terrible I was probably driving Brandon insane because I was like something inside of me is just it's, it's gonna happen but I don't know what it is I didn't know if it was a new job I didn't know if it was a new opportunity I didn't know if it was YouTube I didn't know what it was but I knew something was going to happen and as I was going to the word you know I needed to have a lot of faith in God you know even as small as a mustard seed sometimes because like I'm the type of person where I have massive faith like for mine and Brandon's wedding I had massive faith that God was going to come through and it was the most beautiful wedding and for for what you know God was showing me I needed to trust him and I needed to have faith that he was going to come through for me and it wasn't in my time but it was in God's time so having faith <laughs> um, in Matthew 6 verse 25 and then again in verse 30 to 34 it says therefore I say to you do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body what you will put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing now if this is the verse 30 now if God so clothes the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven Will he not much more clothe you? Oh, you have little faith. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. 
for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things sufficient for the day is its own trouble guys when I tell you that this scripture encouraged me it really put things in perspective like your God like why am I worrying about you know things that you have set out for me all I need to do is just I need to trust you and I was going through this and I was like yes God I will seek you first and everything else will be added as long as my eyes are fixed on you Lord and it was just so amazing because it refreshed my spirit when, when I got a bit despondent and you know just didn't have that hope anymore that where is this new thing that God what is this new thing that God is bringing into my life and I was just like I just this was just something that refreshed my spirit I was like okay God no matter what I will not worry I will trust in you you have clothed the, the lilies on the field you have given food to the birds in the air we know the songs it's just why do we know the songs but we do not we do not believe what we sing and it's the word of God and it just refreshed my spirit and each morning I sang those songs to encourage my spirit to encourage um, um, you know the, the 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 knowing what God is going to do in my life and I encourage you with that the fact that if you are in that space do not worry Matthew 6 says so and you know I, I just needed to um, how do I say have that faith you know in order to to trust that I do not worry in Hebrews 12 verse 1 to two it says therefore we also since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking into Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God guys I really needed to look to God I really needed to not see what is in front of me not think what is in my mind and see my circumstances it's not always that favorable but you know my eyes just needed to be fixed on God and I needed to know that he is with me and I needed to know that I it says that we need to run with endurance the race that is set before us looking into Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith I couldn't look at someone else's race and ask God why are they getting a break breakthrough why are they do getting this and why are they getting that and I'm not I also want that but I had to come to that point where I had to ask God and I had to repent and I had to say forgive me Lord let me run the race that you have set out for me and I want to encourage you with that, with these words, the, the scriptures that I'm reading out to you. Let this encourage you in this video. In Habakkuk 2, it is, it is said that, Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain, on tablets that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. I really needed to read this word a couple times. I was watching a YouTube video of um, this lady, um, Pastor Stephanie Ike, I can't remember how to say her name, and she was speaking about waiting on the Lord, waiting, <laughs> waiting on the Lord, and she said, you know what the word tarry means? It means that it's supposed to have come already, but it's taking some time. There's some type of a delay, and don't we feel like that sometimes? We, we know God has given us something 
oh we know that the um something is supposed to come but there's a, a delay like you add a flight and the flight is delayed but you're supposed to be landing and arriving at a certain time you're supposed to be leaving at a certain time but now there's a delay this it's a tally and in those moments in those moments when we think that god has left us in those moments when we think that you know he's not gonna answer our prayers in our time we think that it's not going to happen but in God's time, though it tarries for us, it does not tarry for the Lord. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry, says the word. Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Another sentence that says that it will live by God's faith. And the thing is, is that we need to live in God's faith. Sorry for the dog. <laughs> We need to live in God's faith. Let these words encourage you in this video. Because these words have encouraged me in order to make this video. This last word in Habakkuk 2, when it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. The appointed time was now. God had given me the word to say, July, Althea, July is the month that you will start and to share the word of God to, the, to my people. I know that this word is for you. I know for a fact that God has laid us on my heart to share with each and every one of you because the way that it has blessed me, I know that it will bless you. And I know that my video tonight, while it's evening, um, is not, you know, with me wearing any makeup. It's not with me having my hair down. Trust me, this video in itself was something that almost did not happen. But you know what? The enemy is a liar and I will not even give him some air time. Because of the fact that I know that this word needed to be shared for you. I know that each and every week, the videos that I share with you is not coming from me, but it's God ordained. And I trust God that whatever is put out on this YouTube channel is something that somebody needs. Whatever it might be, I know that I have exciting things and topics that I want to chat to you guys about. But tonight, I just want to talk about why I started this YouTube channel. What is driving me? What is the Word of God that is holding me down, my foundation, for this platform to share His Word? And I hope that these words encourage you in whatever you are going through, whatever you are trusting God for. I am super on fire, but if I'm not going to stop, I might just go on for another hour <laughs> i want you to be blessed um, i know that god loves you so so much and remember stay beautiful Mwah.